Hello again. As you can see, I have the module 5 file open. And I have the default settings of finish uh, to start throughout the entire schedule, right? And we even have the critical tasks being displayed in this particular project. We're going to go over the difference between lag and lead time here. And what we want to be able to do is have a more realistic approach to these different dependencies. And lag and lead time help us with that. The first one is lag time. And the idea behind lag time is giving us a buffer or a delay between our tasks. So it can be used uh, quite often when we're waiting on something, um, waiting on maybe a, a customer or a client or a subcontractor to deliver something. And we know that there's going to be that delay there. So we set up a, a lag time between our tasks. So let's do that with task number two and three. What we're basically saying is after we've determined the project scope before we can secure project sponsorship is that we just want a little bit of time in between that. So I'm going to double click right on the join line. It'll bring up the task dependency dialog box and you can see over to the right hand side here, it has an option of, for me to put in lag time. So what I can do is just simply type in the duration that might be represented. So if it's one day, two days a week, you will just simply enter it in here. So I'll click OK. And notice what it essentially will do here is just add that one day in between these two tasks. So you have it completing on Monday, we wait on Tuesday, and then it then reconvenes on, on Wednesday. Now the opposite of that is working with lead time. And so lead time helps us to represent overlap between tasks because quite often what will happen is that before we complete the task there can be some activity that's going on in the next task right and so we want to be able to have that representation which of course will shorten our schedule so let's do that with our two tasks that we're working with here I'll just create an overlap between 9 and 10 essentially so I'll go into that join line again double click right there and lead time is going to be represented as negative lag. So it's really just a matter of you typing in negative and that value. In this case, I'll just simply do one day here and click OK. And so notice the overlap pulled everything back to indicate that we can actually start drafting the preliminary software specifications before we complete the conducting of the needs analysis. That's certainly something that would happen.